All right, so we're going to start with the 1902 Liberty Head V nickel. Now this coin here, very valuable coin. The coin has been double struck. So it's flipped over, double struck. So you'll see the reverse design here on the obverse and you'll see the obverse design here with the reverse. You'll actually see the date 1902 on the front and the back of this coin. So pretty cool there, awesome mint error. Graded by PCGS, the coin grading company at an AU53. This coin ended up selling for over $5,700 at auction. Now here is a 1902 Liberty Head V nickel. Now you can have V nickels worn down and things like that and not be a key date and not be very valuable at all. This coin is valuable because it is a very good conditioned coin. It has a very high grade, graded at a mint state 67. Now the coin grading scale only goes up to 70. 70 is the best grade you can get. So to have this coin at a 67 is extremely rare. This coin ended up selling for over $7,600 at auction. Now, if we compare that to another 1902, this coin only sold for around $40. And that's because it's graded at an AU55. There's probably a lot of these out there in this condition. That's why it's not valuable. It's common to have this coin in this condition. However, it's not common to have it at a mint state 67. So grade population is extremely important when valuing coins. So here is another mint error from 1902 Liberty Head V nickel that was struck 10% off center, graded by NGC at a mint state 65. This coin ended up selling for a little over $1,000, of course, because of its condition and because the coin was struck 10% off center. Here is another 1902 V nickel that was actually struck onto a Colombian five cent planchet. So it's struck onto a foreign planchet here, graded by Annex at a VF20. This coin ended up selling for nearly $450 at auction, even in that condition because of its mint error. Now here is a 1902 Liberty Head V nickel, but this is the proof coin. So this is a very valuable coin here. Uh, so the proof coins will be very shiny, have a mirror-like finish, be much more detailed. This coin graded at a proof 68 ended up selling for over $6,400. Now, if we compare that to another proof coin graded at a proof 58, this coin only sold for around $140. Still, it's nice to sell five cents for $140, but if you have it at a much higher grade, you're talking into the thousands, like the $6,400 coin. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me, and until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.